Brasinos. I'm from Norwalk, California, and I've been playing music since I was like 13 years old. My music interests came from my sisters, my older sisters, and they got me into like all this kind of music, like Strokes and like Interpol, and also like cumbia music too that I grew up with on my parents' side. Uh, I would also go to Echo Park, that's where my parents were from too. And the scene over there is, is pretty cool. Like, there's a lot of shows going on, a lot of music, and, and like, that's where I got my like style from too, like just like vintage style and stuff. I wanted to play uh, drums, like I signed up for drums, but they're like, oh, uh, there's no more spots, so you have to play the flute, so I, I stuck playing the flute for three years. I was dedicated you know, to learn music and start playing, and from there, uh, you know, I was like, okay, I still want to play drums, so I got my own drums, and I've been playing drums since then, so like it's been like ten years now since I've been playing drums. Selena, you know, like we just grew up with that, and you know, it's always in the family parties. That's what I grew up with. And then my sisters, they got more into uh, like their own kind of music, like indie rock and uh, like hip hop as well. I started off listening to indie rock and it was like you know, Strokes, Interpol, Moving Hands, and Sheridan, and stuff like that. And it's like, uh, you know, pretty broad. So, and then from there, uh, I just loved listening to the drums. I just wanted to be a drummer first. And yeah, and ever since I picked up the guitar. And I learned that. I found so many fossils in the sand of beaches. My parents are first generation, so I learned Spanish right away. And just listening to, like, and singing along to Mana's song, like, it was so fun growing up. And Mana's Unplugged uh, album, um, like, I just, that just blew my mind. And I just wanted to, you know, I knew that music was for me. I listen to them. I read all the songs, so uh, some of them are in Spanish as well. English, Spanish. I have mostly English songs right now, but the future I want to write will be Spanish songs for sure. It all started with the strokes. They gave me uh, the album Is This It? And I fell in love with it. And they're like, you have to listen to this music, all this, like, all that crap on the radio, you know, it's, you know, don't listen to that, it's just like, popping. and then, okay, so, I'm like, you know, I listen to Strokes, Interpol, and then Moving Units and all that, and that's how, you know, I got that, you know, music, like, influence from that. Well, when I started off drums, I started to, you know, get better and better, and I'm like, this is really cool, but drums are just the rhythm. I want to start writing melodies and songs. So I decided to pick up acoustic guitar and take a class in high school. Learning by ear, songs by ear, and then reading a little music. And yeah, I. I've been playing it less than uh, uh, the drums, so I've been playing it since I would say like sophomore year of high school. Yeah, so it's about like five years now. Yeah, guitar is really cool because you can just like write, like you play like two or three notes and it sounds cool. Write a song from them. Like, it's cool, but, um, it's, that's what I love. Like, you know, it has a rhythm. What, like with the drums, it helped me create a rhythm. And when I 
like the guitar like, helps me create like you know, songs. Yeah. So I've always been just writing like and composing the track first, so just the instruments first, and then once I uh, like people you know listen to my instruments and like instrumentals and stuff. That's when I decided that I really like the instruments. Maybe I'll try to sing this time because I I never really thought I would sing, but then you know I started writing and now here I am like with the six piece band, like you know singing and and it's it's great. It's like it's so wonderful just to have that mm. up on stage. Um, I let loose everything, like you know like Michael Jackson is like that. He's a very shy guy. I'm a shy guy too, but once he's on stage, just you know, lets it all out. So yeah, I, I mean, I heard Michael Jackson the first time, like, like Halloween when I was Halloween when I first come, because you know, like that's the tradition now, just hearing Thriller on Halloween, and then I'm like, oh, this is cool, you know. It's, and then I didn't get really into him until a couple of years later. I'm like, okay, let me check out the album Thriller. I'm like, ooh, you know, it's like the song. Let me get the album song. And then you got you know, Thrill and you know, TLC and all that. Like, those are great songs. And then I looked more back in his catalog. I'm like, oh, he's in Jackson 5 too. And wow, he has such a great voice. He's at such a young age. He's such a great presence. And like, that is also influencing right, for me right now as a frontman. I've been playing, you know, shows like at bars, clubs, houses, or you know, like 30 to 50 people. I want to change that and play it for like 30,000, 50,000 people. If you want to be in a band, you know, that's, that's going to take a lot of dedication. Um, but if you are, you know, motivated, then, you can, yeah, you got to do it because you got to put your time, effort, because, you know, music's hard. So that's the cool thing about the scene that I'm in right now. It's like a more like indie rock and kind of like, Diverse, you know, but so there's like a little hip hop influence and indie, and they're all cool. You know, we're all cool bands. Like we look out for each other. Like, like oh, we have a show in this next month. Like, you wanna hop in? I'm like, yeah, sure. And we do it. You know, back to back. You know, and then also the um, biggest band that like influenced us that scene is Chicano Band. So Chicano Band and you know. Like they just uh, started off like back in 2008, 2009, and you know now they're here. Like they made it, you know. They played Conan and stuff, and we're just like we all looked up to them. Like, yeah, we, we we really want to be there. You know? <laughs> when it comes to the music, you know, that's that's where it all touched me. You know? Hi, we are the Mouse, and we're going to perform the song Gloria for you guys. Hasta que el final de la noche está aquí. Uh. 
This is a simple song that makes sense feel infection. We listen to our favorite songs and no one cares for laughing so many fossils in the sand.